Hi, I'm LV from Meadowlark Log Homes. Hi, I'm Joseph. It's my nephew. He's the craftsman who built this first Meadowlark Log tiny home. We are excited because in this video today, we are going to show this in detail. We're going to take these steps off with this drill. We're going to put these steps inside the tiny home. We're going to take up the jacks, hook on the truck, and take this up into our field, and then we'll give you a, a detailed breakdown of this tiny home and how to buy this one and order your own metal arc log tiny home. Let's get started. Now I'm going to shut off the generator and turn off the lights. These are leveling jacks so you can get the trailer level on uneven ground. Here we go. over in detail the log tiny home. The first thing I'm going to do is start with the generator so we can get some lights on and then we're going to go through it. The Honda Inverter EU2200i is the model of this generator. It will power the lights in this cabin. So I'm going to turn on the fuel, turn on the choke and start it. All the lights came on because the switches are still on. Joe, let's go and put the the log step on, <clears throat> timber stairs on here for the porch. We gotta talk about that it's made to set up on level ground. So this is made to set up on level ground. We might have the front a little bit too high. Okay. Now we've got the tiny log home unhooked from the truck, the jacks down, step put on, the lights are shut off, the generator is running. We're going to go inside, turn the lights on, and then we'll begin talking about the from bottom to top. So let's go in and show our viewers the switches and the lighting. <clears throat> We're going to have Joseph show you how to turn the lights on in the loft first. All right, so right at the top of the ladder here, you have a switch on the ceiling. Flip that and get the lights on in the loft. Here we have a light. Let's try this one. That turns up four of these LED um, surface mount ceiling lights for this area. I'm going to turn this switch on for the outside porch lights. It lights up the lamp two lights in the ceiling and also let's walk around the front and show you these two lights go on with the porch light switch on the overhangs above me in the front okay that's the lights now now let's start and go through this uh, all the way through from beginning to end and I'll say this starting out uh, this is the video uh, the, the launch of the metal arc tiny home it's, we're going to show you exactly how it's made. Many of you have viewed the videos showing us making it. Joseph was putting it all together. You can go back and watch those. There are several videos before this one. At the end of this video, 
we're going to tell you the price of this cabin and down in the link below how to buy it. Joe, what's the first thing we did? I guess I went and bought the trailer first. It's 20 feet long from this to the front of the bed. It is 16 feet from this part to the front of the bed. And that trailer is 8 foot 6 inches wide to the outside. Uh, outside, so 8 6 wide, 20 feet long. And the cabin is 16 feet long here. It is 8 feet 5 inches wide from here to the, to the other side. So the trailer is a 14,000 pound gross weight trailer, legal in the United States and Canada for towing on a highway and in the United States without a commercial driver's license. And the, uh, the suspension is very heavy. It's got heavy tires, two 7,000 pound axles for a total of 14,000 pound of total weight. And we're looking at just under 12,000 pounds total weight, right, Joseph? Yeah, between 11 and 12,000 pounds. We didn't get the exact final weight because we added a few things to it, the table, a few things, but it's just under 12,000 pounds all in, about 2,000 pounds under your legal weight. So you can hook it to your three-quarter ton or one-ton pickup truck and take it anywhere that you want. So it's a very heavy built trailer, a U.S. made. It's got all LED lighting. It has a very heavy front jack, as you saw, uh, so it's a very heavy duty jack. It has a wooden floor that came with it. We put our wood floor on top of it. So that's the trailer. Uh, it is a PJ brand, and, which is a very high quality brand of trailer. It's our, the brand that Metal Arc Log Homes uses in all of our, uh, most of our construction trailers, flatbed trailers, dump trailers, because it's such a good brand. And so we also like this hitch. It's a really a nice, easy to use, easy to flip hitch. You turn that up, hook it on, turn it down, and locks it in. Has a safety, this is a safety clip in case something comes loose, it, it'll trigger the, this wire will trigger the safety brakes. It has brakes on the trailer, has lights on the trailer. This hooks onto a standard RV lighting it's brand new. It looks used because it got a little bit of stain on it, but it's brand new. So that's the trailer, heavy duty jack. Let's go back here and what's the first <clears throat> thing you did, Joe? And when you started, you had the trailer. So I took there was the a trailer. Wood, there was wood floor and you went from there. You know, I put a 716th OSB underlayment on the trailer floor. You that can't see it because it's all covered up. Underneath this. Yep. Like a plywood, but it's an OSB it's sheeting. Plywood sheeting, and that created a sandwich layer between the trailer and the logs. Then I stacked up the log walls on the, all four corners. So on the first course of logs, all the way at the bottom here, we took uh, and drilled holes into the trailer deck and through the first course of logs, and there's bolts one half inch uh, steel grade eight bolts that bolt this first course of log down to the trailer with the underlayment, the OSB underlayment in between that. Um, and then I just went and stacked up the six inch logs. They're a six inch D log cut flat on the inside, left natural round on the outside. And they're six inches vertical from flat to flat from this point to this point is six inches. So they're very uh, sturdy, about five inch thick wall, as you can see from the outside on the corners. I forgot something, Joe. Turn this light on. This is the kitchen light. There we go. There we go. Okay, so the logs, yeah. So they're all, so, the first course is, course is bolted through the metal frame. And every log from then on is screwed with these log screws from one course to the next, all ten inch, off. 10 inch log timber screws on every three feet. Per and glue, there's a, a construction adhesive on the flat to glue them all together. Mm -hmm. We didn't use a, a gasket in here, we used glue and screws and caulking, chinking, to seal it all up. So this is like a metal arc log home. As I said in my first video, everything is real, there's no fake materials, and the same materials used for a real metal arc log home is used here from the, the flooring that was fastened to the trailer flooring, and then this 
finished flooring, the logs, the log joists here for the loft. These are log joists and the one with six tongue and groove loft floor. So what next, Joe? What? So we got the logs up and then what next? So we did the one by six tongue and groove pine ceiling. Um, we got our full log ridge pole. That's uh, authentic, just like we use in the big homes for metal arc, log homes. And uh, the window frames are all tight, screwed in. Everything should be, uh, there should be no settling in this cabin. It's all tight. Uh, we do have a timber, a four by six and a half timber beam post going up vertically here, all the way um, above the windows. And then there's a short post going from this crossing log up to the ridge pole to carry all that center weight right there. Um, so after the window frames were in, the windows were installed and we used all of our own larch trim. This is rough sawn and sanded, but it's all metal arc uh, from metal arc logs. The trim that you see inside and outside this cabin has all been cut and prepared and installed by, by our company. So we have a pine and fir and larch. It's, it's a mixed species of floor, finished flooring. That was a uh, circle sawn. So you see the rings in it. It's a very <clears throat> popular floor. Very modern, rustic looking. It's all the species of the Northwest compiled into one, very beautiful colors. And that was installed inside of the logs and uh, it's glued down, stapled down. It's a very solid floor. We used a, a common, three different widths, four inch, eight inch, and six inch, and mixed them all together, which gives you a variety of widths, just beautiful floor, three quarter inch thick, like we said, locally cut, a lot of our homes have this floor in it. And did you put the crystal urethane on the floor? No, it's a Bona certified floor okay. finish. So there's a certified floor finish on this. On the walls is the, the Timber Pro uh, crystal urethane, which is our standard uh, finish on all the log walls inside and the ceiling. Three coats or four? Four. Four coats of the crystal urethane on the walls and the ceiling and the trim. Yep. And that's a clear urethane very safe uh, plant-based finish. So let's talk about the loft. I'm going to yep. climb up here. Joseph made this ladder, or did your brother Jonathan? I put it together. So, so and I a couple of the Miller I boys, including fly. Joseph, uh, made the ladder in our railing shop. This is like the metal arc railing, kind of, and with a little flat surface on these, these rungs. So I'll put together a dowel in there. So I'm going to go up there and, and check this out. It's got little felt right there, metal uh, strap to hold it on the loft. So it won't slide out. You can put it over here. You can take it away out of the cabin. You can put it in the middle. You can put it anywhere that you want. Now you'll want to, for hauling, for shipping this, you'll want to lay it down on the floor. So it doesn't fall off during shipment. Okay, so I'm going to climb up here. And how long is the loft? Is it about seven, seven feet? Seven by seven. Seven feet from here to the front? and seven feet inside to inside, which means you can put a queen or a, a king. Can you put a king here? A, a six inch queen mattress, six inch tall. You don't want a very tall mattress. So queen you put a queen, a queen mattress in here. Um, I actually believe you could put a king, but it'd be a little bit, it'd, it'd fill the whole space. Exactly. But we recommend a queen mattress in here. And I'm going to go up here and just stretch myself out. This is very sturdy. Um, it's not huge, but like all tiny homes, because of the height restrictions, you can't be super tall. But I'm, I'm a, kind of a big guy, and I'm sitting up here. And this would sleep fine. I'm about six foot, and there's plenty of room here. So there you go. And the peak of this cabin on the outside peak is 13 feet, what is it, two inches? Yes. 13 feet, two inches from the peak to the ground. And the legal height is 13 foot 6 inches. So this cabin is 4 inches under the legal height. So there's your bedroom and you can even read up here with those lights. Okay, let's see what's next. Um, so here are the wheel wells. I want to talk about that. Joseph covered these wheel, these metal wheel wells with this large trim so it's nice and sturdy and 
trimmed out so you don't see any metal because those tires are inside. That way we were able to get the floor as low as possible to the ground because the tires stick up slightly and get the cabin as wide as we possibly can. So this is as wide and as tall as you possibly can go and stay in the legal limit without having a special weight, oh, extra weight, extra width, extra weight, extra height permit. Yeah. It's legal like an RV trailer with a license and drive down the road. Okay, talk to us about outlets. What do you have for plugins? So we have a double floor plug-in here by the door. This will be for a little plug-in fireplace, uh, phone chargers, any, any floor lamp you want there. We have some upper outlets here for kitchen. Um, this is recommended to put a kitchen countertop here, a little uh, under the counter fridge, above the counter microwave. You can plug all that into these outlets. Um, you have three floor outlets, one under each side window here in the, in the center of the cabin, and one in the back in the middle. We also can convert this into a bathroom if you want this corner to seat a toilet and a little hand shower. This, uh, this outlet will accommodate electricity to come, come into the bathroom. And uh, those are all in one circuit. They've all been uh, wired up correctly and they're working. I'm going to talk about the table. You can go back and watch the video before this of I'm making this table. I even had my daughters and my grandson help to varnish the table. Now, one thing I failed to do, and I'll do this before you take delivery of this, this table, this house, I'm going to put our dowels, glue them in here, and I failed to do that on this, because some of you are going to ask, Where, what are those holes in? Well, there's screws in there, a little bit of varnish went in there, I will put a dowel plug in there. So this is your timber table that comes with this cabin. It's four inches thick. It's a tree that's been dead, killed by lightning, or killed by a fire. I think this is a fire kill. And this came come out of the same tree, and it's all uh, screwed together, so that's a really neat feature. You can feel good about knowing this came from a, a tree that was dead. And then the other thing, this is the Amish hickory rocker comes with the cabin too. Now this comes from Pennsylvania, from the Amish company who makes these rockers for us in Pennsylvania. Joseph talked about the layout and this uh, this cabin is available fully furnished too. You can order a bathroom, uh, a kitchen, fully furnished. What we offer in this one is, is it's, it's varnished, it's chinked, it's done, it's wired, but it needs plumbing, cabinetry, stove, fridge, all these things which we didn't put into this one. So you can buy this one or order these uh, like the basic finished cabin like this, or a completely finished, which would mean everything from furniture to the shower, the cabinets, kitchen, the microwave, all that. Then you would need a bigger generator and so on. Let's talk about the generator. With this cabin, you get the 2200 watt Honda inverter generator, which is super quiet and fuel efficient. It'll run the lights, run a small microwave, run small items. If you want to hook this up with a an electric stove, hot water heater, microwave, uh, all of the amenities. We recommend you jump up to a 7,000 watt Honda inverter fuel injected generator, which runs quietly and would power everything. But this, uh, it would be a $3,000 upgrade. We would keep this generator and for $3,000 more, you'd get the 7,000 Honda. And then that can run everything, it's that big. That's a choice you can make. But well, we offer this generator with the package, so you got lights. You can also unhook the generator, and that the the, the plug-in will plug right into a cord that go, can go to an outlet in your in a house or, or a meter somewhere. When you pull somewhere else, you can plug it in to power. So those are the options for generators. And if you do go the full route of a completely finished home uh, cabin, you would need a bigger generator. So let's open the windows and say, see how they, they slide. Let's get this open. The windows we chose is a vinyl frame window. You don't see much of the vinyl because we cover it with, with our trim. So these are local window. There's other brands we can use. And in future cabins, we may use different brands. This is a local window. 
and it's tight, it's low E glass, argon filled, so they're energy efficient rating, and they're, they're heavy, actually very heavy, strong window. So we got the two that slide here, the kitchen window slides, and we chose a picture window here for your view. Some of the options available with a, a tiny log home and this one would be a heavy timber uh, window sill, if you would like that, on one of these, or both of these window sills, to set flower pots on and so on. That's an option. And furniture, rustic plank furniture, coffee tables are also available. So to just kind of recap some of the features, let's go outside. Uh, as we go outside, we can look at those windows. In a, a lot of metal arc log homes, you have triangular or trapezoid windows in the gable. So we got that really cool look there with those windows uh, adding a nice feature. So what we feel we achieved with this uh, tiny log home is as many of the features as possible in a real metal arc log home. I pointed out the triangle windows up there in the gable and this really cool, what we call a sunburst truss, the rays of the sun. Many, log, uh, many, many metal arc log homes have that sunburst truss over in a great room, over a porch, in, in different places of the house, holding up the porch. We got the real posts and railing. And we went with a one inch thick by eight inch timber plank floor. So it looks just like a, a real porch deck, but it's thinner to save weight. And of course the timber steps. And then this is a major uh, point here. You, you're going to ask, how can you go down the road with these over these eaves this wide? And the answer is you can't do it without an over width permit, but we designed something in here that's unique. Joseph, what, what did you do? Yeah, so LV, we needed to come up with a solution because we want the homeowner to have easy access to deliver this himself, to take it home with him on the road without needing a CDL, without needing any over width permits. So we, I created a break in the roof. So the roof separates at this roof line log right here. And there's a splice here in the trim. And I will pick up on this just a little bit. It's, it's heavy, it takes three men to pick it up and just fold it over. But what happened is this roof below this log here is hinged. There's three strap hinges, 12 inches long, 3 16th steel, it's a very heavy hinge built by our local metal fabrication here in Libby. Um, and so I'm gonna pick up on this a little bit. You can see right where that roof breaks. This will fold all the way up and flip back in on itself. And there will be some straps applied to hold this together. And it, nothing will protrude out from the eight foot five inches wide mark uh, that Elby was talking about on the logs. Most yeah. of the competition, if not all, they don't have those eaves coming out because they're, they look more like a box. They go up and the roof goes in. But with a log house, the product that we want to present is, is needs the overhang to look right and to shed the water and to create a real true log home feeling. So those both fold up for transport and that's really a neat. Well, we're excited about that feature. Now I want to get underneath this, this trailer and show you what's underneath. There was a board floor that came with it. So we sprayed, was it what, two inches, three inches? Three inches three inches of foam underneath this trailer. The entire trailer has three inches of foam underneath it to insulate the floor. And then in the roof ceiling, how many inches are in the roof ceiling? Three, three and a half. So three inches of foam spray in the roof cavity in between those rafters. And those rafters are on a sleeper, on a spacer, just like the real metal arc log home. The rafters are raised up so the foam goes underneath them. So it's sealed completely with foam spray in the, in the lid there, in the ceiling, and under the floor. So this cabin could be heated with a very small heater, a very small wood stove, propane stove, electric stove. It would take very little energy to heat this trailer. And because it's so well insulated in the top, the bottom, and the logs, in a hot climate, this trailer will be very cool. It will not be like your 
uh, modern, uh, the mobile homes, the travel trailers, RVs, it will be much more energy efficient than those because logs and foam are far superior to just about any product out there in a tiny cabin or an RV or travel trailer, a motor home, far more energy efficient and far less energy consumption with this design of a log and foam versus your standard um, materials that the competition, the RVs are made with nowadays, which is kind of cheap materials. Um, so we feel like we've got a, an excellent product with high quality materials to give you that great experience of living in a log cabin that you can tow down the road. We are excited to offer you this first Metal Ark log tiny home. And the price for this one is $34,900. And the first person to get that, you can take this one home and we can arrange delivery anywhere in the United States, the lower 48 states. So to buy this, you'd call our Metal Ark Log Homes office right down there, 800-850-8554 if you're in the United States. And that number is in the link below, also on our website. So call our office if you want this one. If you want to order one for delivery later in this, this year, we're going to honor this price, 34900 just like this, through the end of this year. And then we take $1,000 deposits to get your uh, in the schedule so we can get, get it built for you and get, get one just like this. And when that order is, when that is full for the year, we would begin taking orders for next year, but it would probably be, be a different price. So all we can say is through the end of this year, we can offer this model for that price. And so if you want something custom, contact us. We can work out a custom, a larger size would require uh, a commercial driver's license, very likely because of the weight would be longer and heavier. If you want different options, we can talk about that. But if it's just like this, that's the price through the end of this year. And as soon as that that uh, the orders are full we're going to have to cut off for that for this year and move into next year's prices so we uh, hope to hear from you soon and we hope to get the lucky fortunate person this very cabin very soon so we hope to hear from you soon and god bless everyone